What's going on everybody? I'm Hanson. Welcome back to the Liberation Room. Today we're going to talk about Ghost Recon Breakpoint and the classes I typically use. I usually play solo, so these classes are very well rounded for that type of gameplay. Not much is involved in getting these weapons, so they're pretty beginner friendly if you're just starting out in the game, which not many people are, but if you are, these weapons are pretty easy to get and they're very well rounded. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first weapon I always use for a rifle is the VHS D2. This is the one I use. It's got very good accuracy, pretty good handling, range, mobility, recoil. Like I said, pretty rounded on the gunsmith here. And this is usually the loadout I have for it. Um, haven't leveled it up all the way. Or I had it leveled up, got rid of it, got it back, didn't have the blueprint, got it started. Ghost Recon thing. Anyway, this segment brought to you by Ghost Recon Breakpoint, where sometimes it doesn't make sense. Because I'm solo, I'm typically, and using a sniper as my secondary, I typically run a short barrel because I need to use this as a CQB weapon as well. So I don't run the standard barrel. If you are running an SMG as your secondary, then feel free to use a standard barrel to give you just a little more range. Um, but yeah, the short barrel is going to give you better time to aim, better vertical recoil, but that damage to your range. Um, for magazine... I just run the standards. Um, the game is pretty forgiving as far as having a chance to reload. Um, so I haven't really felt a need for an extended magazine and the reload speed isn't that long. So I've never gotten in a point where I died because I didn't reload fast enough or um, I didn't have enough rounds. Um, so that's why I just run the standard. Then I always run the suppressor. Um, if I take it off, I take it off, but I've never used these, like the negative 20% recoil, hip fire recoil, and 5% shot spread. I, it's not worth enough for me to mid fight, back out, switch this for this, and get back to the fight. No, I'm just going to take this pressure off if I need a little more damage. Um, so for the rail attachment, I use the, the malt, if I'm using nvgs i use the peck 15 um but if i'm just running around and you see that blue laser on my gun that's the mall da or malda whatever you want to call it it gives you plus 10 to your range negative 10 to sway negative 20 to shot spread um and this just does hip fire but it shows up better with the nvgs uh, that's what i'm saying if i'm running nvgs i'm going to use the peck 15 if I'm just using it for a laser, the Mall DA. Then we're going to move down to the optic. Um, I always run the EXP 3X G33 sight, or the EOTech with a magnifier. <laughs> I like this because, because I'm using it the way I'm using it with a sniper. It's good to have a little bit of range, uh, but it's also good just to have that like 1X right there behind it. So. Once again, making the weapon rounded, I feel this sight is the best for that. If you wanted, you could just run this because it is pretty few and far between that I use the magnifier on it. But if you wanted to get rid of that, um, I don't know if it would actually benefit you any. It might change the weight a little bit, even though it doesn't mention it over here. It might change the weight a little bit, making the mobility a little better, but I doubt it. Um, so I would just run this. It's good to have the option. It's not hard to switch it back and forth. So that's what I would recommend. So that's the rifle I typically run. Now, another good secondary, if you don't want to run this and you want to run something else is the ACR. The ACR is very good. The accuracy is a little harder to handle, but it is a very good weapon. Um, and for this, it's mm, pretty close to up. Um, I usually run the short barrel again for the same reason with the other weapon because I'm using it with a sniper. I run the standard magazine again, um, and I always run the suppressor, and I just take the suppressor off if I need to change engagement. And again, Mall DA or PEC-15, no reason for anything else. Uh, and then the same optic. Um, it, pur it purely changes the uh, damage profile and the accuracy. Um, but it is a fun gun to run and also a fairly easy gun to get a hold of. Uh, so I run into that or the VHDS2. What's up, you guys? I'm going to jump in here real quick just to talk to you face to face or camera to face or face to camera. I'm not quite sure how that works. Anyhow, if you haven't 
please subscribe go ahead and like the video it helps me out with the algorithm not only on my end but also on your end if you like this kind of tactical gameplay tactical games guides stuff like that then go ahead and like it because that tells youtube that you like that kind of stuff and it's going to recommend not just more of my content but more of all kinds of content that leads to tactical gameplay so if you haven't yet once again subscribe like comment all that good stuff i love each and every one of you back to the video now Onto my secondary, which is a sniper. I run the TAC-50 sniper, or SNR, uh, fully upgraded. I run the standard magazine. Again, this game is forgiving. You don't need the extended magazine. Uh, I run the SNR suppressor. Um, that's, uh, I believe it's, yeah, it switches back to that if you take the suppressor off. Um, so I run the SNR suppressor, negative 20 to my damage, but I don't want to be herb. The T5X1 or I, I'm not sure which one they're meaning there, sight. Um, I would go for this if you had like a DMR uh, to give you that option. But with this being purely sniper, I'm going to go for the T5X1 or whatever. Pretty good optic, got a good reticle, all that good stuff. And the under barrel, you could throw a bipod on it, but let me make my argument. Horizontal recoil. You're typically taking one shot. And then moving to somebody else because these are one shot kills so you're usually taking one shot and moving to somebody else why do you need hip fire why do you need horizontal recoil control put the reticle on him and shoot why would you be speed shooting this dude the range the range on this thing is amazing i pop people at crazy distances and it there's not much <laughs> range issues and the sway the sway in this game if you've played anything like warzone or anything like that the sway in this game is negligible and the time to aim i'm usually using this at range i have time to aim so sometimes i'll be quick scoping but that's in a really bad time and then if that's happening i'm probably pulling out my pistol now i have not found a pistol better than the p227 perhaps it exists but that means it's harder to get because i've played a lot so the p227 is I think the best handgun out there. Standard magazine, this is a backup on a backup. So the chances of me needing it are low. And if I am needing it, I just need a few rounds to eliminate a few stragglers because I just ran out of ammo. The standard muzzle, I usually run the suppressor and it switches to that when you take it off. Um, so we're in the suppressor and the Aptiel H HDG laser. Um, it's just a little red dot laser. Helps the shot spread and hip fire recoil. But this weapon also with the recoil it's not that bad. I believe that's it. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I run. I don't touch anything else as far as snipers. I don't touch anything else as far as handgun. The only thing that I bounce around a little bit is the rifle. Um, and sometimes if I just want the tactic cool factor, I'll switch to the honey badger. Um, but I just, I'm not a big fan of the way it runs in this game. But yeah, the VHDS2 for me is where it's at. I love the M4A1 tactical. I love the look of it with like the integrated suppressor but it's terrible you can see the stats there it's terrible um but i love the look of it so it's so tempting to run all the time um but yeah it's not good even leveled all the way up like uh had it uh it's yeah it's not good um but yeah the only thing i'm dancing around on playing around with is the uh primary the rifle um so feel free to play around feel free to make something that works for you this might not work for you if it doesn't play around with it it's fine that's the point of this the point of games is just play around so if you like the video if you enjoy it go ahead and hit the like button uh drop a little subscribe if you'd like and we will see you in the next one be safe stay happy 